Hey guys, Benny here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to break in a glove in five minutes, okay? Uh, not how to completely break the glove in five minutes, but a five minute video about how I break in my glove, how to get it from the, pro the point of being pro stiff, which this one is, if you haven't watched my last video, the new EX10 model, got it pro stiff. How I get it from pro stiff, you know, right now it's like this. Maybe in the next five minutes, I'll get it to be a little bit more broken in. Can't really squeeze it that much right now, as you can see. I'm gonna literally gonna start a five minute timer on my phone. I'm gonna pound certain parts of the glove and I'm gonna talk you guys through it. And I'm gonna tell you what you need, what you don't need, what you don't wanna do, what you do wanna do. And in five minutes, we're gonna see how much more broken in I can get it. So, timer. Starting a five minute timer right now. Okay, all you need, a mallet or something similar. It can be, you know, a glove mount like this, which we sell. It can be a five pound weight. It can be a stick with a ball tape to the end of it. You need a glove. I have a breaking pad right here. You don't need one. You can use a folded up towel or anything soft to make sure your glove doesn't scrape across the ground or get, get, get dirty or anything like that. And what you're gonna do, the break points of the glove, okay? Here and here on the heel. First, before I even start touch the mallet, just work it in like this, as you can see, this, these two points, extremely important when breaking in a glove. This, I like to just kind of, some people, I'm sure you've seen the video on Dick Sporting Goods of the guy absolutely destroying the glove. You don't, you don't need to do that, guys. I like to move it around a little bit, get the fingers stretched out. You're gonna wanna do this for more than five minutes, but I, only, I mean, I only have, how much time left? Four minutes left. Get this, get this, and then when you're breaking it in, guys, Form it to the way that you want. You can put a ball in here, you don't have to. I personally don't care if my glove I form like this. Some people, when they're breaking in, they're gonna put something in the middle of it. Just here, as you can see. And then, you don't have to go as hard as the uh, sporting goods store employee. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. I really like me, just this is me, me personally. You don't have to do this. If you think this is bad, don't do it for your glove. I really just like kind of getting the glove a little bit out of shape, stretching the leather all over the place. You know, if you have something, you can bend it over like, like that. You can see really stretching the palm of the glove. You don't have to do this. If you think I'm ruining my glove, you can comment down below, but I've broken in a lot of gloves and I've used all of them. So kind of stretch it into place. A big part of breaking the glove in guys is playing catch with it. So that's how I'm gonna form my glove. That's why I really don't care if the glove gets all bent out of shape with me using the mallet or you know bending it over the edge. For example, this catches me. I was breaking in earlier. I'm literally going like this. I'm literally like fo like folding in half. If it gets bent out of shape, I'm gonna play so much catch with the glove after I'm done actually breaking it in. It's gonna it's gonna really form form nicely to my hand, form nicely to the shape of the ball. So you want to hit the pocket a little bit too. You can do this any way you want to. I like to do it like this. You want to hit the web. I'm kind of rushing over a few things, but this is just, I have a full breaking video on my channel as well. It's from a few years back. Just web, but guys, the break points are the main thing you're gonna to want to hit. So keep stretching them out. I'm really gonna stretch this thing out because I wanna I wanna see a, a noticeable difference within the five minutes that I've been talking to you guys. Let me see, how do I want this to be broken? I don't like that. We got a minute left. Real traditional as I was at the start. <sighs> Look at that. Wow, better than I thought I was gonna do in, in like four minutes time. So as you can see guys, this was a pro stiff glove, okay? Kip leather, 
kind of out of breath, sorry. Kip leather, pro stiff. As you can see from the start of video one, I could barely go like this with it. Now, could probably play catch, could probably field some easy ground balls. Um, if I wanted to do this for maybe another 20 minutes, which I'd be really out of breath, uh, it'd probably be almost fully broken in. But you need to keep working it over time, guys. So you can't just break it in one day and then expect to never have to break it in again. If you're break, break it in over the course of a couple weeks, that will give you the best results. Don't rush it like I did, but for me, my personal thing that I like to do on my gloves, a lot of people are going to probably say you shouldn't do it, um, is just really bend the glove all over the place, guys. Get the leather stretched out. You don't need to steam a glove. You don't need to put it in hot water or the oven or run it over. Don't do any of those things. Timer's up. Don't steam. Don't put it in hot water. Just, you know, a five pound weight, a mallet. We sell a kit like this on 44proglovescom okay? Um, it doesn't have this custom pad that has my name on it, obviously. We just sell a regular pad, a mallet similar to this. Um, yeah, that's it. But as you can see, if I go to and thinking this glove, you can see almost, almost game ready in five minutes. Um, just stretch though. You can even do this. You can put it over your knee and kind of almost flip it inside out. But guys, if you appreciate this video, I would appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you want to see down below. It could be more glove content, more baseball content, anything like that. Just let me know. Maybe I'll do a more in-depth glove breaking video soon. Maybe in 10, 15 minutes where I really go really deep in depth. This is just a quick five minute one. Um, yeah, I'm really out of breath. I, it was tough work breaking in the glove, but as you can see, pro stiff glove, looking great. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks guys.